Good evening and welcome to what has become now a trilogy of stories, our bedtime story. This is Amelia Earhart, her story by Isabella Sanchez Vigera in the series Little People, Big Dreams. And I didn't really know too much about Amelia Earhart, and so it was kind of interesting to read this. So check it out. I love the illustrations in these books. Little people, big dreams. Oh, you little people. With your big dreams. Check out Amelia Earhart. Look at her. Let me tell you about her. When Amelia was a little girl, she liked to imagine that she could stretch her wings and fly like a bird. When she got older, she went to an air show, and the plane soared up, up into the sky, leaving Amelia on the ground, and she wished that she could go with them and see just what they saw. Have you ever seen that? An air show? I don't think I've ever been to an air show. There's Amelia, and she wishes that she were up there in one of those planes. Once, she got a ride in an airplane and liked it so much that she didn't ever want to come down. Can you imagine liking something so much that you just wanted to keep doing it? Like watching me and Miss Rebecca? So Amelia learned to fly. After months of practicing, she became the first woman to fly up to 14,000 feet. It took a lot of practice. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. She's making her dream come true. With a mechanic and a pilot, she was also the first woman to try and fly over the enormous Atlantic Ocean. As they set off, she waved at the whales far beneath her. And you can sort of see the shadow of the whale there. I wonder if she really did wave at the whales. I wonder if they waved back. Wow. After many hours, they reached land. The world looked small, so small. The houses and cars were like toys. Little toy cars, little toy houses. She was up high, so high. Even though Amelia wasn't flying the plane when they landed, she became famous. People around the world were inspired by her story. Because she did do a lot of flying. She was the main pilot. And then she wanted to help other people make their dreams come true. Amelia thought that every girl deserved to fly, so she founded a club with 98 other fearless pilots. A little later, she flew across the Atlantic all by herself. Imagine, she started out as this little girl, like many of you, who looked at those birds and thought, oh my goodness, this is what I want to do. And after all that practicing... The first woman to fly across the Atlantic by herself. As her 40th birthday approached, Amelia decided that she wanted one final challenge to fly around the world. And a brave navigator went with her. I believe that's Amelia, and I believe that's the brave navigator. I'm just guessing. And they flew for thousands of miles. They flew over jungles. They flew over rivers. They flew over the savanna, where the giraffes turned their heads and their tails. Some people said the journey was crazy. To try to fly all the way around the world? But Amelia 
was not afraid of living a thousand adventures, and so she flew on like a bird farther than anyone had ever gone before, never to return. And she flew doing exactly what she loved to do. And you can find out more about Amelia Earhart, or you can ask your super special grown-up to find out more about her. Flew across the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. She was a little person, and she had a big dream. And so I hope that all of you little people and big people, that when you go tonight, you will dream big dreams, and you will believe and you will ask people to help you make those big dreams become a reality. Dear friends, you sleep very well, okay? Kiss your beautiful brain. Getting smarter every day. I know it. I know it. When I see you again, oh my goodness, your brain's just going to be amazingly brilliant. Wah! Kiss your loving hearts. They're full of kindness, and they're really helping out the people that you're with all the time now. Oh, I just know that they are. You're helping other people's hearts to grow so big, right? And look in that mirror. Look in the mirror. And you know who you're going to see when you look in the mirror? You, you. And you say to yourself, hey, good looking, because you're all good looking, just the way you are. You don't need to change anything. Don't change a thing. All right, we'll see you all tomorrow. You know what's going on tomorrow. 1015, we're going way out east. O'Hara Township. No, 1030, 1030. 1030 live from O'Hara Township with Miss Jill. You guys sleep well and have a good night. Sweet dreams, little people and big people, too. Bye.